Hi, welcome back to Parenting Explained with Dr. Hammond. I'm your host, Dr. Hammond. And today we have a great guest with us, Jay Sukmanen, who is a certified nutritional therapist. He's a personal trainer, real estate professional, business owner, and definitely a health and wellness guru. Um, so he's gonna be talking to us today about a really important topic for parents of really how to parent mind, body, and soul. Um, and he's also an, a published author and he helps people to live an abundant life. So when people think about discipline, oftentimes, especially parents, when parents think about discipline, we, we think about making sure the child is doing the right thing. We think about making sure their basic needs are met and, and maybe hopefully some love in there as a parent and with discipline. But can you explain when you, when you say the parenting with your body, mind, and soul, what does that concept mean to do that? Okay. So when I say body, mind, and soul, by mm -hmm. parenting that way is by leading by example. Okay. Um, you, just because the kid comes through you, it doesn't mean you own them. Mm. You know? And if you want to help them, you don't, you don't want to control them. You want to lead them. Yeah. You know, lead by example. Eat right. Exercise. Invite them to do it with you. Make it fun for them. Yeah. Cook with them. Enjoy yourself with them. You know, enjoy, the, enjoy those experiences with them. I like that because I, I really like that lead by example because it's hard sometimes, and, and not to blame parents. We don't like to blame parents on the show, but, but it's hard sometimes to tell a teen, especially, don't do this, don't do that, get off your phone, don't do this, when we as parents might be doing the same exact things or trying to have your child eat very healthy, but we're eating a lot of junk foods ourselves, right? So it, it is hard, and it's really important to lead by example. Uh, what, are, what are some other examples of that, would you say, to, to really be a role model in this space of wellness? I would say even, you could invite your kids. I, I like the inviting part. Like, uh, mm -hmm. you know how you support your kids and everything? Yeah. And parents, you know, I love you guys. You guys brought me here. <laughs> and I would say make fun activities. You know, plan positive habits. Have games while you're eating. Mm -hmm. You know, who could chew the lo longest? You know, mm -hmm. different, different little things you could do. Also, say you're picking up meditation or yoga or different exercises. Say, hey, I'm trying this out to your kids, I'm trying this out, and I would like to your support. Can we plot a time to do it together so we can get in the groove? Building those positive habits with them. Also, just reading good books in front of them, making sure you have healthy snacks, because kids mm. love to snack. I love to snack, and um, Me too. I'm a little older, right? Yeah. And just make it fun for them. Uh, enjoy the time, like I said, with them, and like I said, body. So you want to exercise, maybe make dancing, uh, yoga, like running, going to the gym, mind. How do you clear your mind? You want to meditate. You want to practice gratitude. I, I have like, this is what I use, beads. And I, I say something I'm thankful for in each one. You know, create positive habits. Also, I journal. Journaling is very powerful as well. You know, knowing what you're going to do. And these kids will be able to take over their life and lead the life you want them to lead, but you can't actually tell a kid what to do. So you lead by example, showing them great tools to use, and they can take control of their own life. I like, I like that so much because really what you're talking about is to remember the child in whole, like the whole child. Because I, I've seen a lot of parents, well-meaning parents that will really fo like overly focus on one area. So maybe that's education, or maybe that's sports or the arts or whatever it is, but just hone into that so much that we're missing like the other part of this child. So like you said, to do, to focus on body, mind, and soul, because those are very important things to help children develop into healthy adults. Um, and, and I mean, what about for parents, parents that are just overwhelmed by just the day-to-day -day responsibilities of parenting, what advice would you have for them? The same advice that I would give anyone. Mm -hmm. you know, take time for yourself. Mm. When I say your mind, how do you de-stress? Mm. You know, put on the. You could YouTube meditation music and just relax to it. You could light up a few candles, take a bath. You know, and I was saying before, you could set time with your kids, so you create that positive habit habit with them. You know, set a time in the morning or at night before they go to school. Just three to five minutes. You don't have to make it 10, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
You're just creating something new in their life that, oh, this works for me. This makes me feel good. This brings joy and peace into my life. Maybe I want to do it some more. And, and really, and, and it goes both ways, like you said, because there are things that parents should do for themselves, as you mentioned, but there's also things that parents can do with their families as well. So, I mean, in both respects, um, both are very helpful. And I mean, as you mentioned, wellness is so important because taking care of your mind, especially, I may be biased as a psychologist, but taking care of your mind and mentally where you're at really leads you to be the best version of you as a parent. So. For sure. And yeah. when she picks up taking care of your mind, meditation it helps d develop cerebral matter. And that will help you deal with more complex situations. So when things arise or, you know, you're in school as a kid and something comes up, you could deal with it. Or something happens to your child, you could deal with it. Either way, you're able to deal with more complex situations. And if you don't give yourself that time to relax and de-stress, that energy is going to go out, right? That anxious energy. That's how we have anxious kids too, especially with the eating. Mm -hmm. But we get to control that. And if we take the time to just center ourselves and bring that peace inside of us, that's how we really create world peace. It starts with us. With the inner peace. I like that a lot. And as you mentioned before, I mean, I know when people think of meditation, they think of you know, meditating for hours or something that extreme. But it doesn't have to be that way. Like you said, there's so many really neat apps. There's YouTube and all sorts of great, easy, quick ways to just get into a calm state. It could be two to five minutes. Right, so great tip. Um, we're gonna learn more about how to take care of yourself and how to take care of your children uh, when we return right after this break. My name is Jay Suknanen. I uh, work with Body, Mind and Soul, BMS, a company on health and wellness. One tip I would give you guys today is purpose. Knowing your purpose helps you walk more confidently, helps you get not dissuaded. You won't go down the wrong paths. So how do you find your purpose? First, you have to realize you have access to everything in the world. You have access to all the resources. The only thing blocking you is asking for the things for the right reasons and enrolling others in your vision. With that, Knowing that you have unlimited resources, ask yourself, what would I do for my family, my friends, and for myself? Would I buy my mom that house? Would I buy my friend a car so we could cruise down the coast in our new Lamborghinis? What do you really want, right? But then I'll take it a step further. How would you serve your community? How would you serve the world? What gifts and talents would you want to share, right? And purpose, will keep you focused, it'll keep you driven, it'll help you live a longer life, I believe, and you'll work for what you really want. Welcome back to the show. We're here with our guest today, Jay Sukhanan, and he is a health and fitness guru he has so many pieces of valuable information for us. Uh, so what is your number one tip? I know you mentioned it a little earlier, but what's your number one tip for parents to achieve family wellness when a parent says, okay, I'm ready to make some changes? What's your number one tip? If they're shifting and they're ready to make changes, yeah. I, would be, I would say first find a middle ground. Mm. Don't go extreme. Mm. Me, for myself personally, I go extreme because I like <laughs> to set goals and challenges. The challenge really helps me, so maybe that could help as well. But I would say if you're not eating healthy at all, switch it to three days, mm -hmm. you know? Then do it for a month or two and then put it up to five days. Hit a middle ground. I like that because, well, I, you, you can tell me you're the you know, health and fitness guru here, but is that the reason why some diets fail, that people go to extremes and say, okay, every single day, every single meal has to be like this massive change and this massive shift? Is that the reason why some diets are failing or what, what is it? I feel diets are failing. Mm -hmm. The reason is because 
people put those limitations. Mm. Oh, I can't have this, I can't yes. have this. And they're not focusing on what they could have. That's what I'm saying, you gotta have healthy, fun snacks too. Yeah. You know, you could even have like chocolate raisins or whatever, yeah. you know, it's still getting the essence around it and their mind is switching. When I create a plan for me to eat, I put in my cheat meals, right? Mm. I put in like three to five desserts a week. I put in three. And some weeks, I eat the three right away. Mm -hmm. And some weeks, I'm like, oh, I didn't eat any. Yeah. I got to catch back up. You got to catch up, you yeah. Know? So I get, I get an extra few days at the end to eat it. Yeah. But it's about planning it out where you focus on what you could have. Once you focus on what you can have, you, it's ultimately... Once that session is over or that time is over, it's going to go back. Yeah, yeah. That I've, yeah, I've seen that a lot. So that's a great tip, especially with your health and fitness goals that you have for yourself or with your family. And you have written a book, or books, I should say. Um, tell us about your latest book um, this, and some great tips that you have. This book is Abundance, A Journey from Anxiety and Depression. The book is more focused on abundance. The reason I touch anxiety and depression is because we all face it. Mm -hmm. uh, you face anxiety. Anytime you try something new, like coming onto this TV show or hosting it, if the first time you did it, you may have this little anxious hesitation. Mm -hmm. It may not last forever, but if you don't face that anxiety and you keep putting yourself into a smaller and smaller comfort zone, you're going to get upset at yourself, you're going to lose your self-confidence, your self-esteem, and you're ultimately going to get depressed. So I touched on the first one chapter and I talk about myself as well and how I had reached to even a suicidal thought even though I was living a great life I just wanted to do so much and I was getting so overwhelmed that I had to shift over then I go into the next chapter's meditative techniques mm -hmm. right and meditative when I say meditative it's also exercise mm -hmm. you know prayer gratitude you know, these all encompass everything. And we were talking about meditation before. A great technique to not have to even set aside time is when you're in class or you're even cooking, breathe. Nice. Be conscious of your breath so it doesn't even take time away from your day. Mm -hmm. Then it gets into finding your purpose. Uh, I heard someone earlier speaking about finding your purpose and it's the most essential thing. Mm -hmm. When you know what you're going to do, no one could dissuade you. You can't go down the wrong paths as easy. Because right. you know what you want in your life. Mm -hmm. And you know what it's going to take to get there. Then I go into what are your morals and principles? What are your values, your characteristics you want to have? Yeah. Then you get into beliefs. People use certain words that limit them. Mm -hmm. Like can't. You know, switch it around. I can and see how you could reword it. You know, there's so many beliefs you could switch around. Even about money. Money's a big one for me because a lot of people think rich people may be greedy. How are you ever supposed to become rich if you think that about them? So there's a whole bunch of money traits we were taught. Like money doesn't grow on trees. Mm -hmm. So what, we can't spend money? Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, so then we go into, that's, that's the beliefs chapter. Then we get into routines and rituals. Because ultimately, if you're trying to create a big change in your life, right. you need to make it habitual. Mm -hmm. Set it up for yourself. So you can't really fall into your old patterns. Right. And number seven was the mindset shift to abundance. Mm -hmm. That's where you get into the mindset of, you know, I have enough. I matter. Things are great. You start focusing on the positive. Mm -hmm. Right. And when you focus on the positive, you realize you have enough. You can lend out a helping hand. You could actually help other people. When you don't feel like you have enough, you're going to hoard everything you have. You can't really help people. And I, I, I really, I'm really loving this conversation today because you're really talking about a child or with parenting in full. So your purpose and helping others. And it's not just about your physical health, but definitely your mental health as well. Um, your soul, like how to reach out to others and, and make a bigger difference. I, I really, really love these concepts. Um, what is, well, what about, <laughs> because maybe some parents are watching and they're saying, I don't have enough time to do this or I don't have enough money to start this up and make this change. Like they want to make a change, but they're not sure because of the things and the excuses that we give ourselves. Um, so what do, you, what do you say to those parents? Any tips for those? So like the whole time thing you said before, like yeah. you could breathe throughout your day. Mm -hmm. A lot of us are not, well, me personally, I'm not always conscious of my breath. Mm -hmm. You know, sitting here while you're speaking is a great time for me to just breathe mm -hmm. and become relaxed. 
You know, when you're listening to your teacher or you're listening to your son so, or your daughter so you don't get upset, you could be breathing and actually listening mm-hmm. instead of having your thoughts run around because that's what overwhelms us and tires us out. Of course. We keep repeating the same thing over and over again. Oh, I got to do this. Mm-hmm. Oh, this didn't go well. I got to do this. And it takes up all our thoughts. We right. can't get into the concrete things we really want to manifest because mm-hmm. we're already tired. Yeah. We want to go to sleep. Yeah. Ultimately. Yeah. Yeah, great, great tips for sure. I mean, just again, we, we think we're uh, limited by time, but re- in reality, when you do the creative things that Jay's doing, you can really find the time to achieve mm. that health and wellness. You really so, maximize your time and you maximize definitely. your life. And actually, the more work I feel we do in a positive manner mm-hmm. is the more we live. Right, right, for sure. So we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to learn how to get in contact Um, with Jay and just some other valuable tips that you need to know as a parent. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. My name is Jay Suknanen. I work with Body, Mind and Soul, BMS, a company on health and wellness. One tip I would give you guys today is purpose. Knowing your purpose helps you walk more confidently, helps you get not dissuaded. You won't go down the wrong paths. So how do you find your purpose? First, you have to realize you have access to everything in the world. You have access to all the resources. The only thing blocking you is asking for the things for the right reasons and enrolling others in your vision. With that, Knowing that you have unlimited resources, ask yourself, what would I do for my family, my friends, and for myself? Would I buy my mom that house? Would I buy my friend a car so we could cruise down the coast in our new Lamborghinis? What do you really want, right? But then I'll take it a step further. How would you serve your community? How would you serve the world? What gifts and talents would you want to share, right? And purpose, will keep you focused, it'll keep you driven, it'll help you live a longer life, I believe, and you'll work for what you really want. Welcome back. We've been talking with our guest today, Jay Suknanan, who has provided us with really uh, really important tips that we need to understand when it comes to our health and our wellness and our children and also not thinking of it as just getting enough sleep and eating right and exercising there's way more than that um so you've talked greatly about mentally where you're at about breathing about the importance of meditation um, which can be three to five minutes let's say um so how can people get in contact with you if if they want to learn more well, we offer many services. You could go on bodymindandsoul.com. It's body spelled out, mind, and then and is A-N-D, soulbms.com. Great. You could also contact us at our business number, which is 516-453-5190. Reach, us, reach out to us on Facebook, Instagram, however you guys like. It's body, mind, and soul, BMS, and every one of them. Great. So to get more information, definitely follow up website or social media and and definitely connect because um, I've seen your social media page as well and just really great and valuable tips. So and the um, book, you can get it at Amazon Mm -hmm. and Barnes and Nobles. You just spell out my name is J-A-Y, last name Suknanen, which is S-O-O-K-N-A-N-A-N. It's called Abundance, a journey from anxiety and depression. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, So a lot of times parents are looking for for reputable resources about how to live a healthy lifestyle. As we know, unfortunately, with Google, there's all sorts of information that's not necessarily accurate out there. But what are some reputable resources that that you can share for parents to really think about moving into a healthier lifestyle? I would say on eating, I've been vegan for the last Mm. year. And my girlfriend, she's actually my business partner, she created a Venny's Vegans recipe. Oh, wow. You could have yeah. fun with your kids on that. Yeah. Um, rapid over resources. You could Google it. Google works. I would say YouTube videos that you think will work for you for workouts. Be sure on what you're looking for and mm-hmm. don't really... 
focus too much on bad things, then on the website, you can connect with us. We can answer any questions you have. Um, I'm an integrated wellness and life coach. My partner is a health coach. We also work with many other people. We work with physicians and things like that. I'm a nutritional therapist, so we can answer a lot of the yeah. questions. Um, but you can look at a YouTube channel. Um, social media websites have a lot of great free content that really feeds off on right. helping people. And I love that. I love that you really are a wealth of information with a lot of different areas related to well wellness. And also, I mean, when mentioning the, the vegan recipes, for example, maybe a family doesn't necessarily want to completely become vegan, but I know a lot of families are interested in maybe having a one day a week or one day a month of a vegetarian diet or a vegan diet um, or just trying different recipes and different things in the path to, to eat healthier. Um, so, so thank you for that. And is there anything else that you would like to share today for, for parents just on this journey to, to be healthier and to raise happier and healthier children? I would just say realize you all love, you're, you're whole, you're resourceful, you're creative, mm -hmm. you know, and live out your life, you know, live your life. Don't, I'm not saying not to take care of your kids. But they, it, once they see you doing what you want to do and living your life and taking care of yourself, it's going to influence them to do the same for themselves. It'll show them how to work hard for themselves. Because sometimes I feel we want to give the kids everything. Mm -hmm. And what about us? What about our life? We deserve to live too. I understand we have to sacrifice, but it doesn't have to be a sacrifice. You could just help them help themselves. And live your life. That's the biggest thing. And enjoy every moment of your life. Know where you're going. Know where you want to go. Mm -hmm. So you can be present here right now. Right. And, and, and remember, too, as you mentioned, that being present and taking care of yourself as a parent is something that is going to be more beneficial for you in parenthood, frankly. And you can bring the best you that you can to, to your family because... When you're stressed out, overwhelmed, overworked, and really, really, really tired, it's hard to parent that way. Mm -hmm. um, and it's okay to feel like that sometimes, but make an effort, like I said, make a commitment uh, to, to really to live a healthier life. What's, uh, what's another piece of advice you would give as far as making that commitment or making that first action step? As you, as you mentioned earlier, don't, don't go to the extreme because <laughs> that generally fails, but what's, what's like a baby step that maybe someone can take? just start the, the process of being healthier? I would say you could take baby steps, but I would implement a few things right okay. away. Mm -hmm. uh, I would take time to meditate, mm -hmm. um, even two, three minutes. I, like, I, I think a sweet spot is 10 minutes. They say you should meditate however old you are in minutes. So oh. if I'm 27, I should meditate 27 minutes. I'm not saying I do that, um, but that's a recommended. I would say implement that implement like something to pray whatever you pray or be thankful because that'll help you focus on positivity and whatever you focus on expands be mindful of what you're eating ask yourself is this good for me and find alternatives because being eating healthy could be expensive if you don't set yourself up you gotta you know prep and eat right and be conscious of where you're shopping and for the body you know, exercise, you know, three to five times a week, even if it's 15 minutes. I just put on an audio, a good motivational audio mm -hmm. and work out to it so I don't have to think. Mm. I'm just doing something. Mm -hmm. Or listen to instructors on YouTube. They teach you really good things out there. Mm -hmm. So I would say for me, the biggest things I would say is be mindful of what you're eating. But to implement three to five minutes of meditation, journaling. Yes. I would definitely journal what I want to do for the day, you know, what I'm grateful for the lessons I learned for the day, and just focus on you and de-stressing and maximizing your life so you could have more time with your kids because ultimately a kid's, anybody's love language is time, mm -hmm. right? Yes. How do you spell love? It's T-I-M-E, right? Mm -hmm. You have to spend that time, like we were talking earlier, quality. Right, right. So quality, quality, very important. Yeah. And thank you so much. Uh, you've provided so many really uh, great pieces of information, but also a lot of great examples too. And in the path, I know many parents want to move into this path of, of wellness and, and mindfulness and remembering too that even if you're sitting in your car at a red light 
and you're focusing on your breathing, that counts too. Mm. So you don't have to set aside 30 minutes a day to, to meditate, but take the times in your day if you're brushing your teeth or washing your face, whatever it is, to just focus on you, focus on your breathing, um, and, um, and, and work towards living a healthier life for the sake of your family. So thank you so much. You've been thank an you. amazing guest today. And uh, tune in next time to Parenting Explained with Dr. Hammond.